Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Alright guys, now to be honest, I wasn't going to do a video for Valentine's Day since I'd already done a Valentine's-esque video discussing the Incredible Hulk's and Black Widow's relationship in the MCU, and I kind of posted that down as a Valentine's Day video, but I wasn't going to do one to be honest. But I thought about it for a bit and I thought, what could I do that's kind of romantic that I haven't already done on the channel? And I thought about something very unique. I wanted to go on the internet and just take a look at different fan arts featuring the Burger King and the Little Miss Dairy Queen mascots from each respectful restaurant. So with that being said, for today's Valentine's Day special, we're going to go and see the fan art that those of you have whooped up for Burger King and Little Miss Dairy Queen. So with that being said, let's jump in. Now the first two pieces I have here are from an artist by the name of Uzumi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, but they have two awesome drawings here of their renditions of the Burger King and Little Miss Dairy Queen mascots. Now, Little Miss Dairy Queen does not have a lot of images floating around of what the Little Miss Dairy Queen mascot is. There's only, I think, one or two images that actually show that original mascot, but we can kind of see their rendition of the Dairy Queen mascot. Burger King retains his usual Burger Kingness as we see him a lot in American advertisements. But yeah, they look really cool here. I absolutely love these two pieces. And I just like the stylized art that they did for Dairy Queen in particular. Uh, she looks very pretty and I love her dress where it kind of looks like an ice cream cone. I think that's really cool. But anyway, moving on to the next piece at hand. Ooh, I actually like this one. This one's pretty cool. This one comes to us from T. Pollock Jr. on Pinterest. And it's a fight between McDonald's and Burger King. You can see Ronald McDonald and the Burger King mascot are really throwing down. This actually looks really good. This must have been done on like an iPad or something because it just has that, that sort of style that you can only get from drawing something on an iPad. But nonetheless, it's still a pretty good drawing. I actually like this one a lot. I like the fact that you got condiments and burgers flying everywhere as these guys are like kicking and punching. It's pretty cool and I just love the stylized effect of it. Again, lots of stylized stuff I'm seeing here. But again, it looks pretty cool and I love just the expressions of just like, I'm gonna kick your ass on each of their faces. It's definitely awesome. You got the hamburger hungry clown next to the Burger King. So yeah, they're taking each other on and I love this a lot. I love the awesome shading and everything like that. Definitely real good work to you, D. Pollock. So this next piece comes to us from DeviantArt by a creator known as Juneville. It's a very casual piece showcasing Wendy and Little Mystery Queen just chilling and they're texting each other on their phones and the little bio underneath the image states, I'm sorry to say this, but I need a little bit more Dairy Queen, which I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that statement. <laughs> but uh, we can see they're texting each other. It looks pretty cool. I like their rendition of Dairy Queen here. Very interesting. Um, and of course, I can imagine that um, Wendy is going to be hella toxic because Wendy is known for that. And I like that um, a lot of people, when they draw Wendy, they kind of give her that same toxic persona that Wendy is known. Oh no. Oh no, Burger King looks like you fucked up. Oh man. So if you don't know, there was this ad came back in the day featuring the Burger King going to different people's houses and leaving leaving burgers on their windowsills. <laughs> what we have here is a guy getting all freaked up because Burger King's at his window trying to give him trying to give him his whopper. All he wanted to do was give this man delicious whoppers. Oh man, but that's totally realistic. I mean, if if you have a gun or something and there's people creeping in on you through your window, yeah, your first instinct would be shoot them, regardless if they're trying to offer you delicious burgers. Man, that's dark. But nonetheless, it's still a pretty good drawing, and it actually looks pretty professional. 
This comic strip, by the way, but my god, that's dark. This one comes to us from Rose Chan 2081. And it's her reimagining if Dairy Queen was a Yandere Simulator character. I'm not going to tell you what Yandere Simulator is. If you want to know about it, Google it. And you'll be diving down that rabbit hole. But here is the Yandere Simulator character that she's made for Dairy Queen. And I like the, the aspect of this particular imagining of the character. It's not too far off about the original Little Miss Dairy Queen design. And I like the addition of her stockings looking like ice cream cones. And I like the blue and white color palette. Very reminiscent of that original Little Miss Dairy Queen design. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about all of these creators and their different drawings. Did you like any of them? And if you want to see me do more of this kind of fan art reaction to some other fast food characters, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, do take care. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.